Introducing our next 2000, 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Frank Adelman. Frank has uh, requested two presenters tonight. Both of them wrestled for him at Santa Ana College, Mr. Frank Gonzalez and Mr. Dave Alexander. Frank attended Redondo, excuse me, Frank attended Redondo High School where he was a two-time conference champion. He attended El Camino College and Long Beach State College where he won championship honors. At El Camino he was selected as the outstanding wrestler. At Long Beach State he was the outstanding wrestler and in 1961 he received the Long Beach Century Club Award for being the outstanding wrestler. In 1960 Frank qualified for the Olympic finals. That's when you qualified by regions and Frank pinned Ben Northrup in the regionals. Ben was the Olympic Greco Roman wrestler. He was the 1974 and 1976 senior Olympic champion and the 1975 national masters champion. Frank coached at Santa Ana College and his 1974 team won the state community college championships. He also coached the county freestyle team to a state championship in 1971. And he is professor emeritus at Santa Ana College in nutrition and fitness. He was inducted into the El Camino Hall of Fame, the Orange County Hall of Fame, and the Long Beach State Hall of Fame. He is also the wrestling, he is also in the Wrestling Surfing Hall of Fame. And I'm sure that Dewey Weber's in there also. <laughs> this Hall of Fame recognizes athletes who are both surfers and wrestlers. <laughs> I'd like to see Thomas have to do that. <laughs> Frank. Frank is the author of books on fitness and nutrition. Two of his recent publications are The Winning Edge, Nutrition for Athletic Fitness and Performance, and Get Your Act Together, Think Healthy and Be Healthy. Speaking of fitness, Frank competed in the second annual international paddleboard race, a 40 mile race paddling from Catalina Island to Manhattan Beach. And he finished in a time of 9 hours and 37 minutes for a 6th place finish. Oh, my body aches just thinking about that, Frank. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Frank Adelman. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I think I'll pick this up. I'm going to put some... <laughs> Root, keep that away from me. <laughs> I'll try to be fast and hit this thing. Uh, thanks to the committee for the award. It's a great honor. Uh, I'd like to just quickly introduce my wife of 43 years, Betty, who was our assistant coach sitting over there, and some of my family mentors. Without her, I wouldn't have recruited all these guys. Uh, people ask me about my career and what it meant to me, and I try to think of all the words for it. So I'm going to do it real quick and real simple. I'm going to really show you what I think about wrestling, why I love it, why I would probably go back and do exactly the same thing again. And so very quickly I will just ask, although not of them all over here, if I uh, call you out as a group, just stand up and stay standing up. If you ever wrestled at Santa Ana College and I happened to be there at the time, would you stand up? Uh, also, go ahead, stand up. All of them. All, well, I got a few of them. If you uh, were a competitor against us from Orange Coast, any of you, if you wrestled against Santa Ana, stand up if you're here. I know there's a lot of guys in here that wrestled against us. There they come. And if you coached against me as a coach, stand up. If you coached while I was coaching, or you coached high school, or whatever. Now, there's a lot here. I don't know where they are. They are getting up. Uh, and if you were an official and you ever officiated a match for Santa Ana College, stand up. Because the officials are a very big part. There they come now. See, those are the dark horses, see? They come in. And one man I'd like to particularly thank is Von Hitchcock, if he would stand up wherever he is. Uh, Von is sort of the godfather of wrestling as far as I'm concerned. He was the coach, took over the coach at uh, Cal Poly when I was coming into the sport. And uh, his national titles and champions that he produced uh, drew a national focus onto California wrestling and it was the beginning of when wrestlers were pulled from California to all the universities around the country. Uh, unfortunately for Vaughn, he should have gotten them all. 
Uh, I'd also like to thank my junior college coach, Dave Hanksteller, and my university coach at Long Beach State, uh, Dr. Barney Boring. Uh, they taught me not only wrestling, but they taught me the foundations of my philosophy on coaching. And to speed it up, I'm going to read that a little bit, because really I'm talking to some of you younger coaches out there. Uh, my basic philosophy of wrestling is that success as a coach is not measured by just your won and losses, but by the positive impact you have on your athletes. And I think that's a very important thing for us to remember, particularly uh, nowadays. I think you should treat, uh, I have many rules and principles that I used to coach by, and I never really just taught them one at a time, but I'll leave you with one or two unless I hear the buzzer real quick. Uh, one was to treat all your athletes the same regardless of their wrestling ability. And I'll tell you just a quick story about that. At one tournament, it came down to a match that we thought that if this individual got pinned in this match, uh, we probably wouldn't win that tournament. And uh, when I had him getting ready to go out on the mat, I was trying to think of what to tell him at the time. Uh, he'd already been pinned twice by this guy, and he uh, was not as skilled as that other wrestler. And so I finally uh, said, well, I, I could just tell him, hey, whatever you do, don't get pinned. But that's like telling a golfer, just don't hit it in the water. And that's not going to work. So uh, I just said, do me one thing. Just wrestle with all your heart. And when you walk off that mat, I want you to look me square in the eye. And that'll be my signal that you gave me everything you could do. And uh, he did that, he got whomped bad out there, and he lost that match, but he didn't get pinned. And when he walked off the match, he looked me straight in the eye, but as he got closer to me, I could see his tears uh, in his eyes. And all of a sudden, he got very emotional, and he started apologizing, and he was so sorry that he had lost the match for me, and that I hoped that he wouldn't be mad at me. And I, <laughs> I uh, couldn't help but give him a hug, and I said, uh, don't worry, I think you just won the tournament for us. Now the interesting thing about that is I remember that scene, but I'll be damned if I remember if we won the tournament. That's uh, how far that back was. Another lesson that I always teach coaches is to listen to your athletes and pay attention to them. And that goes back to a story when we were up north wrestling at a tournament. Uh, I think maybe in some of the wrestlers that were here tonight were on that team, I can't really remember. But uh, we had this uh, tri-dual matches going on, different sessions. And in the first session, being a young coach, I was jumping up and down and screaming and running at the mat, and yelling at the official, and it went on and on. And finally the official stopped the match, came over to me, uh, smiled and just said, you're out of here, and pointed at the door. I said, what the hell do you mean I'm out of here? He says, you're out, you can't come back in the gym till the next session. So out I went, spent about a half hour wondering how is my team ever going to make it without me being there. And unbeknownst to me, I come back in, and surprisingly, they had won the tournament without me. And so I went up, sat down in the bleachers with the kids uh, to get them ready for the next match. And as I sat down, one at a time, they got up and moved away from me. And I could if you pay attention to them. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Frank. Thank you.